Hi, I'm Grace Lewis, your Brucey Wealth Officer, and today I'm joined with Susie. Hi, I'm, I'm a money advisor with the um, Brucey Advice Service. Yes, and we're aware that there's quite a big increase coming towards specifically energy bills, and we wanted to give you a little bit more information about them. So I'm going to ask Susie some questions. So why has there been talk in the news about energy prices? So there's about to be two major price rises that are going to affect the majority of energy um, users. So the first one's coming in April 2022, and that is going to be an increase of 54%. So for the average household, that's going to be about £700 a year. Um, and then there's another rise that's expected to come in October 2022, so um, the beginning of the next academic year. Um, at the moment, that's expected to be about the same, 500 to 700 pound, but due to the conflict that's currently going on in Ukraine, it could be increased even more, and um, experts are kind of in expecting that to increase. So why does this matter to students? Um, well, most student households have higher energy bills than the average household um, in the UK. They have an increase of appliances such as laptops, phones, which regularly get charged and also um, the average use and household has the expectancy that during the day there'll be quieter times or that people won't use energy at night but because of um, the unusual hours that a lot of students keep it's more of a 24 hour usage so that adds up on bills as well. Okay. So what are the government doing to support this? So the, a lot of what the news has been talking about is £200 that the government is giving every household in the UK. Um, this is going to be directly given to the energy prices and the energy companies, sorry, and they will decide how they're going to issue it, whether it's taking it off one month or um, covering the winter 2022. Um, the important thing is that is not so widely advertised is that it's a loan rather than a grant. So, you will receive this in October 2022, but you will be paying it back um, £40 a year for the next year following from 2023. Um, even if you're living in halls, because it's a national grant, um, even if you're living in halls in the new academic year, you will still be paying it back if you then move into houses in 2024 or 2025. It, it is going to be um, it's a universal payback scheme is a universal loan so whether you change housemates or change your living situation somebody in that property will be paying that money back over the next few years right okay so should I go on to a fixed deal now instead of them, um, <laughs> at the moment there isn't any fixed deals that are being advertised that are more um, economical than staying on the energy price cap um, the markets are expecting it to go by, so they they put them at um, a higher price. So the best advice is to um, follow people like Martin Lewis and the money saving expert to see whether um, whether new deals come and things change. But for now, it would like in likelihood cost you more money if you went into a fixed deal. Right. Okay. So is there anything that we can do to help with the costs at all? And um, anything that's going to reduce your energy bills is going to help with the costs. So um, the tip that we always tell students is to make sure that you are updating your bills regularly. So updating your meter reading with your company regularly to make sure that you are getting accurate bills. So you're not left with a big um, lump sum to pay when you leave your property. Um, and also like the tips we've been sharing this week, anything that reduces your usage or is more kind of Reducing your bills is going to cost less. So turning appliances off standby, um, turning the thermostat down, using spark plugs to turn devices off when not in use, um, reducing the use of hair dryers and straighteners, anything that gives heat in a household does use more electricity. So it's good to kind of cut down on those usage and um, to help save a bit more money on your bills. Okay, thank you. So we, we hope you found that useful. Um, if you do have any more questions, then please do put them in the question box throughout the day and we will be able to answer them and to keep out uh, all week looking at all of the different tips 
for National Student Money Week.